Hey guys, John Luxy, you're back with our blind playthrough of Corpse Party. Well, let's see, so last time, no stars. Where did we leave off last time? Um, right. Right, Ayumi and them met up, because I think everybody's in the same place now. And they went to the second wing to find Yuka. Potentially, potentially Yuka is still alive. Also, potentially Kizami. The darkening has already begun. It's not going to be a good ending. I'm reasonably certain of that. <clears throat> Maybe there are no good endings. That's also a possibility. Just. <laughs> Whoa. They might... On, okay, so realistically... Realistically, in a high-stress situation such as this, you kind of become numb. Right, so when you're... Like, they are super stressed for a long period of time, you know, hours, uh, you get... You never really relax. You just get... You get numb after a while. That's where PTSD comes from. So they should all be kind of emotionally deadened at this point to the fact, to the point, to the point where uh, corpses don't really bother them. But you never know. There's always something worse, I suppose, that could still freak you out. But that just makes it even like the wound, so to speak, even deep, deeper. It doesn't affect you as much as it normally would. Like, you're still just like, Ugh. but it um, has longer lasting effects. You know, so you're, it still does some damage in the short term, in the immediate term, not as much as it would normally do because you've already blocked so much of it, but then down the road. Anyway, Satoshi's freaking out. <laughs> Ah, what? What is it? I do like that they're showing the pictures more. The characters. I appreciate that. It makes it feel more dramatic. My god, this is unconscionable. These are stab wounds. Whoever did this clearly enjoyed it. Why do they think it's a who and not a spirit at this point? Because they've found all sorts of bodies. He, he looks like he was just killed, like, just killed. They've also found bodies like that before that look, you know, a couple hours old. Yeah, he does. Ah, Satoshi, look. And we got, we got his, uh, his ID tag. Ah, Satoshi, look. Huh? Is that... Oh, Yuka's shoe. Acquired Yuka's shoe. No, no, please. Yeah, that's not good if it's right next to the body. Satoshi. There's no mistake, I see these every morning. This is Yuka's shoe. Doesn't mean she's dead, dude. My god. Gur. What the hell? What the hell happened here? God damn it. You know, something... So I was looking back at other videos uh, that of this that I had done previous playthroughs, and when uh, Kizami joins up with Yuka, they follow each other. They're not, like, merged into one character like we are here. I didn't, I didn't realize that. It probably, like, subconsciously maybe I did, but it's a very subtle clue that they are not together, right? It's well done. Well, seriously, well done. Boys' lavatory. Doors affixed to the wall, can't be opened. Excuse me. 
I'm drinking more of that $3 vodka. It is good. Oh, there's another body at the top of the stairs. Whatever happened to Morishige? What the hell is up with this building? Everywhere you look, there's nothing but death. I mean... Come on. You've seen this already. Wait, what's this? It's Morishike's cell phone. Video saved to memory. What did he record? Dead bodies? Or... I think he only took pictures of them. The video might be his, like, I'm going to kill myself thing. No. Yeah, don't look at it. Ah, uh, wait, now I'm... <laughs> yeah, so I don't need to read that. It's... I've already made my statements on the quality of that acting right there, but, you know. I mean, I guess it's not like an anguished thing. It's more like, like his mind is broken and he's kind of like whimpering or his mouth is just like sound is coming out. Like, it's not like, oh, I'm freaking out. It's just like my mind is broken. I'm just like, uh, like a zombie kind of. Like an energetic zombie, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so it sounds like he's slamming his head against the wall. <laughs> Slam. <laughs> I appreciate the uh, the sound effects or the uh, like the, the, how "slam" is written out for those people with um, you know hearing difficulties or whatever. Like, seriously, that's it sound <sighs> about half of what I say is sarcastic at any given moment. But this, even though it sounds sarcastic, like I'm sarcastic so often that my normal speech sounds sarcastic. But in this case, I'm actually being genuine. <laughs> Mayu, Mayu. Do so. I can't remember. Even though I'm recording a couple of these per day on average, or on average, it's one a day. How it ends up working for me is I record, like, I'll have a day where I'm not on call, so I'll record two or three, and then I'll be on call for like two or three days. So I won't be able to, uh, you know, play the game. And. So I can't always keep track of the what's been going on. So whatever episode this is, 20-something, uh, is about how long since I started the game. So it's, if I had the choice, if I wasn't doing this for the channel, I would just, I'd probably be done with this in like two days. Because I, I would just not stop. But, yeah, so I can't remember everything that's going on. So if I seem like I don't know what's going on, that's why. It's because it's pretty legitimately an episode, like an hour per day. Oh. <laughs> Jumped out the window. No, God, please, no more of this. Why is it expanded? Whatever. It's Morishige's blood spattered cell phone. Acquired Morishige's cell phone. Why? Why, though? Yukashu spattered with blood all along its edge. Morishige's bloodied cell phone. How is it that his final moments were recorded in video? That is a great question, actually. Did he record it himself? And this was the body they saw? Okay, so we've already gotten that one. 
we'll uh, go there. Let's go all the way up, because that's a dead end if I remember right. Principal's office, the door is locked. So I, I do like that this does feel more like the original now that we have multiple parties again and they're trying to work together sort of. Doors affixed to the wall like a model. Makes sense that they're kind of railroading us through at this point. Is there another body? There should be that, uh, that other girl right here. Right? The one that presumably uh, Kizami killed as well. Believe the girl. Believe the girl. The problem with the signs is you don't know if you can trust them or not because it doesn't show whether they're red or blue. Heavenly Host Elementary School, school closure. Okay. And, and I will say that that door wasn't there before. The downside of the upbeat music like this is that it takes a lot of the tension out of it. My friend was killed in this hallway. These green skulls are lethal. I've sealed them up to ensure no one else dies a pointless, pointless death here. That's not helpful. Besides, how do you seal them? It's a cheaply made, mass-produced bust used for still life paintings. There's a student ID name tag on the floor and a small scraps of fabric stuck to the pin on the back suggesting it was forcefully removed. Didn't we get that one already? Yes, we did. Art room, the door is locked. Door is locked, you can't even go in there anymore. Right, another body. Oh, that was weird. It made me walk through. I mean, you know, the darkening saves. It is forgiveness from God if you're just going to die a brutal death anyway. You might as well give in to the darkness and become one with the school. Stab, kill, betray, demolish, gouge, and violate the hollowed out husks. That last one is probably the most disturbing. All right, so we have, I guess that's the music room. Let's go in because it's, it's the only one that's, or since it's the only one that's open, is that where we have to go? Door is locked. I'm debating, right? Let's go this way first. Right. And you can't click on that for some reason. That's odd. Now, in the science room is Kizami. Presumably his body, but he might not be dead. Because we already know the guy with the hammer is not a great shot. There's another body over there. Let's uh, check it out. Skeletal remains. Apparently we've gotten that one though already. Right, right, because Yuka came in here. Although that fell down. Not a soul to be seen. Is the face different? Is it like a skull now? Oof. I, I was expecting that, but it still made me jump. Portrait has fallen. There's broken glass everywhere. Oh, let's check this. It's funny because I was watching the video and I do check every single desk except for these two because you can't get to them from the... Like, I'm, I'm checking them from below. So I totally ignore them. That's... That's crazy. I would have found it normally. 
if there wasn't that a little thing right there. All right, so then we go north. Door is locked. Skeletor remains. Door is locked. So what now? We've checked every door. We found Yuka's shoe. Maybe, oh, there's something up that way. Yuka's other shoe, perhaps, or no, probably not. Potentially a key, a key to something. Is there any reason it's gonna make us go all the way back around? Maybe. It's probably a key to open that thing. Okay. Um. Body repeatedly flayed with edged weapon. I don't think flayed is the right word. Not to be pedantic. But I'm pretty sure flayed is not correct. Stabbed, I mean, sure, but... Do we have a window or something? Because we never got more Shige's body. I don't... I don't see any windows. We might find his body still. Probably when we cross back between the buildings. If I had to guess. Oh, I know I'm yawning a lot, I'm sorry. Acquired mini DV tape two. Oh, and the door's open now. Another Kibiki research tape splattered, spattered liberally with blood. Interesting also, right, is that uh, you have the, the dude that might have been just in it for glory and might have been a uh, con, art con artist as well, like the ghost hunter people. Maybe they're actually legit, but I mean, come on, right? Uh, so they might be, like Dan Aykroyd actually is up on the science, so to speak, of how to find ghosts. Um, like he actually believes and, and tries to find them. Uh, the people that make a TV show out of it that, you know, embellish stuff, I don't know if they're legit or not. Uh, but, so, Kibiki may be a scam artist, he may not be, but the other guy, like, both of them have clearly never had any actual experience with you know, hauntings or anything like that. They say that they have, but it's probably kind of like the ghost adventure stuff where it's like, did you hear that creak? That was a ghost. All right, where is Morishige? Music changed. And where are we supposed to go now? Up that way? Skeletal remains, we got a new, yep, I guess so. That looks like a door. But it won't let me click on it for some reason. All the loose boards that you found, presumably, put together. Like the school itself looks different too, like the ivy and everything. Alright, so, do we want to check the tape? Or do we want to switch back to a Yumi? 
Let's check the tape. All right, here goes nothing. Broken breathing. I assume whenever we're done with... Like when there's nothing more that we can do with this party, we probably switch back to a Yumi. I assume. Kind of like how it locks the door behind you and, and all that stuff. I shouldn't be alone. I shouldn't be alone. See, he lost it. He didn't expect... He didn't believe in that stuff, or, you know, he didn't understand the danger. I can't just die. I can't lose hope. What happened with his way out? If anyone's watching this tape, there's a way out and I'm going to tell you what it is right now. You need to perform the Sachiko ritual correctly. Say the line one time for each person, then one more for Sachiko. Oh. Then one more for Sachiko and put all your paper scraps together. Did you need to do it one more for Sachiko first? Like the when you... Before we came here. Did we need to do it this way? And put all your paper scraps together? Maybe not. I, I don't know. I wish I'd never done it. I wish I'd never come here. How could you? How could you? Kibiki. That's probably... Kibiki. Oh. That's... Kibiki. No, no. That's probably, uh, um, Satoshi. Wasn't that footage? I assume that was the, uh, principal's son. Yeah, it was definitely taken in this room. Well, yeah, his body's behind the... stuffed into where the futon's supposed to be. Right behind you! Eek! Ugh, God, that smell. Sad that I recognize it. It's the smell of decay. Based on the clothes, I think we just found Mr. Kabiki. And the girl with him is wearing the same uniform as that spirit I saw. The girl with him. Oh, that's Naho's body as well, I guess. I spoke with her too in the staff room. I guess these are the remains of that girl Shinozaki was telling us about. Naho, was it? What's wrong? S oh no. Satoshi, is there anything farther in? Like in the back of the closet? Hmm? I don't see anything. No, all the way in the back corner. Look closely. Isn't there like a gap in the wall? Hmm? Oh, there is. Holy crap. There's a whole other room back there. Oh no. How could you possibly have known about that? I'm honestly not sure myself. I just had a feeling. Watch out for the two bodies. Try not to step on them. I'll try. Ooh, where are you? It smells awful in here. Oh, is this the hidden room? The sealed off? Must be. Is this... There's a ladder. Where does it lead, though? Wait, Naomi! Okay. Naomi, Naomi where'd you go? Oh. Satoshi. This is a is this the girl's room? Why would there be a ladder leading to the girl's bathroom? 
Of all the places it could have been, why did it have to be here? That's right, this is where Shinohara died. Yep. I can't take this anymore, I just can't. Seiko, Seiko's angry with me. It's my fault, it's my fault she's dead. Naomi, no, no, you're wrong. It wasn't your fault and it wasn't a suicide. How can you possibly say that? You weren't there, Satoshi. You didn't hear the things I said to her. Wait, is this Seiko's cell phone? Oh, yeah, there was a text message or something, right? Just before she died, she was really worried about you. She never actually sent it. But she dropped this while she was writing a text message, and I think you should read it. Recipient Naomi, subject no hard feelings. So how the hell are you, babe? Sorry about earlier, sad face. I apologize, though, so you have to forgive me now. If you don't, I'll email you a beautiful crotch shot, so watch out. That's sexual harassment. That is not okay. <laughs> Seiko's dirty. She's talking about butt cream and then... I don't know. Then again, she does have the hots for Naomi, so whatever. Let's get the hell out of this dump together hand in hand. Till we meet again, you'd better get it on with your darling Mochi or else. Anyway, I'll be waiting for you by the entranceway. We can kiss and make up. Ooh la la. Seiko. 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 <laughs> well, Seiko. that's all right, you know. I was planning to wait until a little bit, a little more time had passed before showing this to you. I'm sorry. It's too sweet. You can tell they added a ton of sugar to that. You feeling a little better now? I think so. Sorry about that. We're going to get out of school no matter what it takes. That's what Shinohara would have wanted. Yeah. At any rate, we know how to get out of here now. We know how to reverse Sachiko's charm. They didn't specifically say whether the charm was flubbed or not. That came from Naho. But then again, how to get out also comes from Naho, so who knows? Our first priority at this point should be to reconvene with Shinozaki, Shino, Shinozaki Yoshiki, and hopefully Miss Yui. Yeah, you still have your paper doll scrap, right, Satoshi? Yep, got it right here. I've got mine too. Right. No, no, God no. Where did I put it? My student ID is missing and my paper scrap is in it. I wonder if you need all of the scraps. Or just because some people are dead. You know, and Yoshiki presumably still has his scrap and he's not in here anymore, so are they all doomed? Naomi. Calm down, Naomi. We'll find it. We just have to keep our eyes open. Okay, but I swear, I, I definitely, definitely had it in my skirt pocket. I remember it clearly. I showed it to Seiko and everything, but it's gone. It's just gone. The hell's wrong with me? If we can't find it, then I can't go home. That was a weird little fade to black and then fade back in. Like... As if this is a different scene. Right, like the fade to black was maybe there's, like this is version B and there was a version A that also could have happened. That's just, that's just my guess. 
If we can't find it, then I can't go home. There's no need to worry. You had it earlier, right? You probably just dropped it somewhere. I'm sure we'll find it along the way. But what if we don't? Then I'll be left behind. It's just me, all by myself here. Whimper. That is a worry. Naomi. You definitely don't need to worry about that. I would never leave this place without you. The way out can wait. Right now, let's just concentrate on finding your paper scrap. Nakashima? Whoa. Didn't you hear what I said to you? Do I have to spell it out? Class rep. Humble, oh, well, well, fucking whore. Ayumi was possessed before. Remember when she was like, ah ha 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 ha. And only, uh. Only that other dude was able to. Yoshiki was able to calm her down. Shinozaki, glad to see you're still alright. Did you find Miss Yui? I did not. That's too bad. We, well, we found more Shige, but it was too late. Uh, but we did learn something. So I heard. It seems you two found the way out as well. Hey, Nakashima. What? What is it? What's your problem? For chance, is this what you're looking for? That's a really evil face. Ah, ah, it's my... Sorewa. It is indeed your student ID. The Sachiko paper scrap is safe and sound, too. See? Oh, no. Shunazaki, you're a lifesaver. Where did you find it? What was that music? Hmm? Class rep, thank you. Thank you so much. She's going to destroy it. I was so worried when I couldn't find it. I was afraid I'd never be able to go back home, that I'd be trapped here forever. Oh, I understand completely, Nakashima. I wonder if you need your own, or if you could just take somebody else's. Under these circumstances, this is essentially your life. This tiny, insignificant scrap of paper is your only real hope of surviving. Oh, how clumsy of me. I seem to have dropped it. You want it, don't you? Wave, wave. Please, this isn't funny. Just give it back. Funny? It's not a joke if this really is that important to you. Then you get down on your knees and you beg for it. Why the hell are you just standing there staring at me like an idiot anyway? What? Hey, Shunazaki, what's gotten into you? Not gonna do it? Guess you must have wanted all that badly after all, hmm? Look. See, he didn't... I mean, it probably translates as, as look, but he said, like, oh my, like, you. Like, listen. What the F are you doing? Please, please give it back. Say it right. Please, I beg of you, do me the honor of returning my student ID. Yeah, if Yoshiki was here... Things would be going differently right now, I suspect. <gasps> Guess it's not worth that much to you. Maybe I'll just burn it then. Click. 
Oh, she's got a lighter? Shinozaki! Shinozaki. Getting closer, getting closer. Do I burn it or do I spare it? That is the question. Stop it, please. Give it back, give it back. Ha ha ha. Flick whoosh. Bye bye. Hmm. Probably fairly accurate. She was like, hora hora, which is like, here, here, like, look, look, or whatever. My Japanese is not perfect, but it's enough to see some small things. The, the, the point, though, is it stands, which is that she's basically, like, taunting her. She's like, oh, 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 the flame's getting closer, right? So it's the same... It's not a literal translation, but it's a, it is accurate to the meaning. So, whatever. No, please, please stop. She did burn it. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, look at it burn. Nak Nakashima's lifeline is burning, burning. That's... That's rough. And it's gone, hee <laughs> hee, crunch. The crunch was what? Her stepping on it? Fire safety. Gotta stomp out the embers, you know? Shinozaki, what the hell's wrong with you? It's simple. Mochida, you and I are gonna use that way out to get home. That is twisted. And Nakashima, you could just go off somewhere and disappear. Hee <laughs> hee. To be f okay, so to be fair, that gap. Is not super big. I imagine. That's when you launch yourself across the gap. You know, you're like, you're going to burn that. I'm. I'm coming. You know, whether it's to put it out, put out the fire, or kick your ass, whatever, I am coming. You know, it's like that you gotta. Now's the time for action. But maybe it's. Maybe it's bigger than it appears. You know what I mean? Maybe if they had made it like two spaces wide, so conceivably like six feet. But even that's like, well. I'm gonna try it, you know? Well, I'll see you later, Mochita. So are we not allowed to switch back to Ayumi now, or what? Yeah, that's dark. But maybe you can use someone else's. I assume it, you just need a paper scrap, right? Because, well, who knows? You might need your own, but you might need yours. I, you know, let's go get a, another paper scrap and, and try it. Naomi. Naomi, it's okay, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> That is dark. So we're back to a Yumi now. I did it. I actually did it. I finally put Nakashima in her place. Aha, uh -huh, what a rush. 
Just wish I'd been able to give her a good ass kicking while I was at it. <laughs> oh my god, that scream. That scream of utter helplessness. Just thinking about it makes me giddy. Yeah. This is the real... Ayumi coming back. <laughs> or the... Sanity has returned for now. Type deal. <laughs> Maybe not. Hmm. Don't give a crap what happens to Nakashima, but I do still have to find Miss Yui. And that's the other thing, it's like... That act... Maybe, I mean, okay, so first off, maybe it was all... Maybe it was not craziness. Maybe it was, who knows, but... That's not gonna endear... Satoshi to you. You know what I mean? Like... You being vicious like that, that's not... That is... Extremely unattractive. Guess I should look around a bit more. Yep. Things are shifting again. Maybe Miss Yui's back. Ooh, the music has changed. Today's Spirit Breaker Crush Middle was divided into two souls, one painted red, one painted green. Closet trespassers will be expelled. But why do we have Yuka Shu and Morishige's cell phone? That doesn't make any sense. Reference room, the door is locked. Oh, dude. Completely empty inside. Unusual. And I can't talk to them, I don't think. That's fine. We may not need to switch back and forth too much, right? It seems like this is a bit more story guided than the original. The original wanted us to wander around and and find stuff, right? And then switch between parties. This seems a little bit more focused on the story aspect. Which I'm okay with. That's that's the thing. It's like both games They're different. They are so different. Even though they don't seem that different, they are. It's like, you know, pork versus beef. They're both meat, but they're different. There's a student ID name tag lying on the ground. Kazami! Is he dead? Yes, he is. Beaten to death with blunt instrument, whereabouts of body unknown. Well. Now we know. Oh, that was... Yuki Nishimiya. Buried alive by spirit of little boy, suffocated. That's not good. All right, let's save. Outside science lab. You know, we never did get chased around by the... By the, um... I don't know what you call it. The anatomical thing. The corpse is extremely small and seems to be a young child. Takuji Mizuno. Strange but true stories of the occult chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building, part four by Kokibiki. I shouldn't be alone, shouldn't be alone. We are not the first to come here, it seems. There have been many before us. Every one of them has either died or been swallowed up by the school itself. I'm not simply using the word swallowed for dramatic effect either. It is regrettably an apt description. There's a massive curse encompassing this entire building. It's like an entity unto itself, and it's and it slowly devours the souls of men. It chips away at a person's core, sanity, reason, even identity. 
eventually destroying him. Nothing that made him who he is remains. Well, that's what's going on with Ayumi. Once it's gripped your heart, you'll quickly succumb to despair and loneliness. The essence of what makes you human is literally eaten away as if by worms. That's why dementia is so awful. Like, if you've never really thought about it, like, you think about Alzheimer's and dementia and stuff like that, but it... Who we are is shaped by what we've learned. Not by... I mean... You know, dementia basically makes you into a child again. Like a two or three year old. Kind of. Right? Because it it eats away your being and all you're left is that core of childishness. That the rational you that your life experiences have shaped to control. That's why it's that's why it's so awful. You know, it's, yeah. When this happens, your body begins to necrotize and your soul becomes as black as spent ash. We've come to regard this process as darkening. Your body begins to necrotize and your soul becomes black as spent ash. That makes sense. I wonder if that's what happened to the zombie dude. And whosoever succumbs to the darkening becomes an inseparable part of the school itself. In rare instances, one may be able to avoid the full act of darkening, instead fated to be seared unbelievably, unbelievably by intense, violent thoughts and emotions. But most of the time, souls will be rooted here, cursed to wander these halls for eternity with no hope of passing or exorcism. So how does Naho still retain her faculties kind of because she's losing it as well she's darkening also that's my use of the word swallow the school swallows us whole growing fatter with tortured souls every day it makes me shudder just thinking about it the means by which i've come here the sachko charm if its particulars ever got out into the mainstream the school would never go hungry again so why did naho put it on her blog To any who may be reading this fourth installment and soon the fifth, it's clear, oh, fifth, like the victim's memoirs. It's clear you're a victim trapped within this hellish place just as I am. Do we want to read number five? The least I can do is give you some advice to help keep you alive as long as possible. If you still have even the dimmest shred of hope, hang on to it, keep it firmly in your heart, never give up on it. I can't stress that enough. I hope you'll be looking forward to part five. My assistant, Taguchi, has disappeared somewhere. Now that I'm by myself, I can no longer go home. Because they both did the charm. Why can't you do the charm by yourself? I wonder if you have to find all the other pieces. Like, if you need all the pieces, her burning that one means they're toast. Means they're all toast. So I'm just going to keep writing. It is my one true calling, after all. No matter what happens, as long as there's life left in me, as long as my hands can still move, I will never stop writing. That's good. It means he wasn't necessarily a total sham. Right? Because he's like, hey, you know, I'm I'm going to die at some point. I'm going to keep writing until I do. Like, that just shows his true passion. We will save here. And then we will end it for today. Great music also. Make sure the kitties aren't underneath me. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Woo. Think about that vodka. There's so much sugar in it. Burped it up a little bit. All it tasted was cherry. But, um, yeah, it's still good. So, man. My apologies for yawning so much. 
gonna try and get more. I'm gonna try and get more drunk, and then, <laughs> and then hopefully I'll be more awake. Uh, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's actually your guys' comments. So, uh, the amount of views and comments and stuff I get depends on the game, mostly. My channel is still super small. I mean, whatever. I'm fine. Oh, is that an invisible... Pat? I think it is. Look at that. The floor... Or there's an invisible passage. Uh, just to our right. I mean, it's not invisible. You can see it. It's just... Dark. It's not quite the same color. Is it? Oh. Well, that's odd. Maybe it's going to get filled in. Or something. Uh, but no. So this this has a lot more... Um, uh, this game seems to have a bit more of a cult following, presumably, because it's it's got more uh, attention than mostly any of the other games that I've done. Which I don't I don't mind. Like I've said before, this uh, it's mostly I do the channel mostly for the um, just to do it, just based on you know learning and, and honestly interacting with you guys and stuff as well. So it's what I gain from it personally, not fame or monetary. Like I, I mean, technically it costs me money to do this because of all the the time and the the electrical costs and the everything else um but no just your comments like it's it's really nice to be able to it's not like true interaction because it's comments you know it's more like email or like pen pals or something like that but just i've enjoyed like the some of the back and forth that we've had so uh that is that is good i i really appreciate that um trying to stay awake here because because <laughs> i do not sleep well lately uh or i mean in general but lately worse worse than normal uh unfortunately that's going to be a common theme but um yeah you know just like i said my positive is your guys comments so i do appreciate it uh i know i talk about negative stuff every once in a while i try not to be negative but there's also nothing wrong with that as long as you are um, like I kind of I kind of focus on it a little bit like the you know I let it kind of roll around in my head and kind of chew on the the negativity and the ideas and stuff but I'm trying to learn from it when I do that so it's not it's not like woe is me sometimes sometimes it is but even if it's woe is me, it's like, well, that wasn't great. What can I do to improve the outcome or, or learn from this or something? You know, try and try and find the silver lining or the positive or whatever. whatever. So, you know, I do appreciate your guys' comments. Like I said, any questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or indifferent, let me uh, let me know. I like reading them. I do try and respond to everybody. It does sometimes take me a couple days because I don't have the luxury of checking this every day, but I try. And um, that is basically it for today. That was, I mean, I hope your guys' unique positive moment is better or just as good as mine or the reverse, whichever. Uh, but that is, wow, I'm totally like, my brain is just all over the place today. I do hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care.